Hi everyone, welcome back. In my previous video, we wired and programmed the S7200 PLC using the PPI programming adapter. But wait, what if you do not have this fancy programming adapter? In this video, I will share with you step by step how I built a DIY S7200 programming adapter from scratch. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, we have our circuitry. It's made up of a female DB9 connector that will be connected at the PC end. We have a resistor 5K and 3.3K serving as a voltage divider for the transmitter pin, pin 3. And then we have a DB9 connector a mill type that will be connected at the PLC end and then we have a 680 ohm resistor that will be connected across pin 8 and 3. Okay, since we need, we will need the S7200 to test our cable. This is the male DB9 connector, female DB9 connector with cables connected to it. We will need a 5K resistor. I have 10k, I'll connect them in parallel to get 5k and then the two set of resistors as well and then a diode for indication okay this is our setup on the breadboard or the circuit arranged there and then cable connected to it and then we can see the other end of the cable I will connect the USB to serial converter to it and this is how it looks like I'll connect it now to the PC you can see that immediately you connect the lights should come on okay I go to start on the software and then go to my computer manager and then device manager we need to confirm the COM port and we can see that our programmer is connected and COM3 okay I go to communication double click on communication go to set pgpc interface and then properties and then local connection and then we can confirm our com port that is com3 i click ok ok again and now double click on this icon to search for the pc plc sorry we can see that plc is being able to be detected the cable is working great on the breadboard okay the search is going on, search is done, and then we have our PC PLC there. We click OK. We try to upload the program from the PLC and see whether it will work. I click on the upload. We can see that the upload activity has started. And then we can see that we've been able to download the program from the PLC. The cable is working perfect. Okay, we will now do the cable in this particular unit. I will try and then fix the LED at the side of the unit so that we will be able to see its activity. I create the hole and then stick the LED into it. And this is how it's going to look like. Okay, I twist these two set of resistors, 10K, so I'll get 5K. Okay. And now connect the 3.3k to it so that I get the midpoint. Okay, this is the DB9 connector, the male one. I connect the 680 ohm resistor across pin 3 and pin 8.
add a bit of soda and then trim them up okay and now connect the cable which is the TS RS and then the ground to the respective points within the circuit So drink done and this is how the cable looks like now everything built and now position the mounting screws and then box it up this is how the end results looks like this is the point going to the PLC and this is the point going to the PC I connect the USB to serial converter to it, slot it on the PC or the PLC, sorry, and then screw it up, position it correctly so that we can see the LED indicator, and now position this end to the PC, and we can see that it has light up, everything working fine. I go to communication. And then set PG PC interface and then confirm the COM port. Double click on this to connect to the PLC. Connection done. I click on OK. And now go to upload and try to upload with the cable once again. Okay, we can see uploading going, going. Uploading done. We will go online. And then monitor what exactly is happening within the PLC. Perfect, we've been able to go online with the cable. And now press the button for test. And then we can see that the button indication is being seen within our software. Working perfectly. And now put the PLC into stop mode on the software. And we can see that the PLC is now in stop mode, working perfectly. I now try and start the PLC from the software, and we can see the PLC is in run mode. Now press on the button. We can see that this section of the code is activated, and we can see the activity of the button. I'll now go offline, and then try to do a download to see if it will work perfectly. I click on download and then download here once again click OK and we can see that the download has started download worked perfectly I'll go online once again and then we can see that we are online remember anytime you download the PLC will go into stop mode and I need to restart the PLC this time I will do the restart from the software. You can also do it from the manual switch on the PLC. Okay, and now press the button. We can see that the output comes on and we can see the indication too as well. Viewers, this brings us to the end of this tutorial series. We've been able to create a cool programmer for our S7200. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Anytime you hit the like button, you help us grow our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.